All right, overall energy for Sagittarius. We're going to take a look at you and what's coming in towards you now until the end of the year. All right. Hope. Ooh, wish fulfillment. Good things coming in here. Uh, rejoice in celebration. All right, Sag, what's up? <laughs> Things finally uh, turning around for you. Wish fulfillments, reasons to celebrate, financial and material changes. Victory and success, partnerships. Um, what is happening here? All good things. All good things. Uh, you could be getting a uh, new friends, new partnership. Um, so it could be business, could be love, relationship. Um, wish, wish is being fulfilled. Reasons to celebrate. Like, I got a raise. Let's go out and celebrate. I got engaged. Let's go out and celebrate. Um, I won the lottery. Let's go out and celebrate. I feel like there's just, there's all good things coming towards you. No, I'm not saying you're going to win the lottery. I'm just saying you have really positive energy coming coming in towards you. I'm seeing angel numbers three, three. I also have like five, six, seven. Five, six, seven. So it's like you you completed one, two, three, four. Now it's like five, six, seven is coming in. Almost to the end, to the end goal of what you want. So all right, let's let's see what's going on with you. Sag. What is going on with Sagittarius current energies? Sag. Ace of Cups. For you. Okay. All right. New beginning in love. Or are you just feeling the love? Feeling lovely? I don't know. Let's keep going. All right. It's good. Um, I'll side note. I'm going to side note this. Um, I feel like for some of you, somebody got some kind of karmic justice. And now you're like, yes, I can finally like move on. I can release this. I'm not stuck in choppy waters anymore. Like something it, like without you having to, something went your way. Something went your way. Whatever that is. Something went your way that you've been kind of battling. Um you had a lot of disappointments with something finally like is going in your favor. So take that how it is. Could be a divorce for some of you that is here. Um, separation, legal court system, something like that. Take it how it resonates. Something's going in your favor after a long period of disappointment. So things are changing. You're feeling... If you're not right now and you're watching this and you're like, no, I'm not, <laughs> you're going to be. Um, things are about to do a major shift for you in such a positive way. Underlying energy, I do have suffering in silence. So that's why I'm kind of feeling like some of you may not be in this energy, but this could give you that hope to know this is all going to work out for you. Some of you may inherit money or um, gain some financial freedom here. Um or find yourself um, on a more stable ground after some time here. So I, I feel like um, you've done the work. You've, you've done everything you could. You're at this point now of these manifestations coming in. Some of you could be starting a new business, uh, your own business, company. Um, some of you could be getting a raise with work outside of love. Um, something could elevate for you. When it comes to love, I feel like there could be new love coming in. So I want to look at that after, but let me see what's blocking you and then we'll see what's coming in towards you. Blocking. What's blocking? Sag. Uh, could have been, a, I want to say a water sign, could have been blocking you, could be any sign, but I feel like there was somebody that was blocking you. Um, someone from your past. Money finances could have been a blockage. I feel like, um, yeah, you were feeling stuck. 
It was almost like what I'm getting here. You have all these great ideas. You have all this energy, this drive, this passion, this power, and you it constantly kept getting shut down or turned down or ignored or rejected. Um, so it was like you had to, and that's why I think the business work thing kind of came out because I feel like you there like if you were married or in a relationship or, or something like that, the person that's supposed to uplift you and support you wasn't. And you have all these great ideas and you have all this stuff you want to get done. And they were just like dead weight. They were just holding you down, holding you back, not believing in you. Very disappointing. Very disappointing. And that's the karmic justice. All right, here it comes full circle. <laughs> You're elevating and you get to say, ha ha, told you so. I know my value. I know my worth. I know my capabilities. I know what I'm doing and you didn't believe in me. So now you're going to shine and they're going to be miserable because of it. So that's, that's your karmic justice here. That's what's uh, happening. All right. Let's look at love. What, what is this? It, I mean, it may not necessarily be love, new beginning in love, ace of cups. It could just be a new emotional beginning overfilled with joy. I don't know. Let's see what's coming in towards you. Sagittarius. Very positive uh, reading. What's coming in? I don't like how those fell. It's coming in. Communication. Communication. If it's not like business, starting a new business or something, it's just like work goes good. Everything starts to go good for you. All right. I just want to kind of put that out there. Just things start going good for you. Um, noticeably. Noticeably good for you. All right, you could be, I know not a lot of people are like fans of this online dating BS, but some of you could be putting yourself out there online. Um, I am seeing like texting, communication going on. Um, I do see somebody, an emperor or empress that is in your energy and it is a wish fulfillment. An unexpected meeting with this person. You might meet this person unexpectedly. You, I don't think you see this person coming. So I don't think this is like someone from your past or someone that you know that you're reconnecting with. I think this is like a brand new person that you meet unexpectedly. Um, it could be more towards the end of the year, beginning of next year. Oh, but it happens. Strong fire energy is coming through, but it could be any sign. And this person, I feel like they change. Just so you know what I'm looking at here. Um, and then the communication and texting and all that's right here. Um, I, this person changes like almost like your whole reality of love and relationships and what they were like this is gonna be good it's gonna be different than what you are coming from this person's going to believe in your creativity they're gonna believe in your ideas they're gonna help you fulfill these wishes they're they got your back they got you and it's gonna be different from what you just came from it's night and day for real so keep doing what you're doing this person I, I mean, you can't help it. And I don't want to be like vindictive or spiteful or anything like that. But I feel like this person was really holding you back. And now that you're set free, you, you're you excelling and you get to look back and be like, ha ha, well, you should have believed in me because look at, look at, look at what I'm doing, you know? And even if it's not something like it's just happiness, I see you like just really focused on being happy and that changes a lot too. All right, positive vibes for Sag. Focus on all that you are instead of all that you're not. And again, there's you focusing on you and them making you feel like you're not. You're changing that. You know. You know. Uh, there's always something good coming to you. Yeah, there is. Big, big good things coming in. Um, you can't make everyone happy. 
facts. Uh, more kindness, less judgment. I'm just living in love. Believe in yourself a little more. So uh, you may have some of that talk, self-talk that this person like embedded into your brain um, that you might need to like override or rewire. <laughs> and I feel like you're going to. So say some mantras every day. Um, keep that focus. Keep going. Nothing's going to stop you now. You, you're you going to be on the move. All right. All right. Little rough uh, start, but ends really good. Calm down by taking three deep breaths. So if you find your stress going up, just take a step back, take some breaths. They help. It helps. Uh, put together a playlist of songs that make you feel happy and alive. Use a meditation app before bed to help you relax. And I feel called to take this one too. Uh, when things seem hectic, take five minutes to do nothing but stare out the window or at the wall. Yeah, you got to take like that, that little split mini break sometimes. Those deep breaths, stare at the wall for five minutes. You, you just, sometimes you got to do that. Sometimes you got to listen to a song, take your mind off it or move around. And it, you know what I mean? Just do whatever you can to get through it. But it, it's really good. It's really good energy for you, Sag. That is what I have for you this week.